This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org, an interactive online STEM learning platform that helps you build new skills and learn by doing. Learn more about my thoughts on Brilliant in a few moments. College is a time for new experiences, new friends, and endless opportunities. But for those pursuing a cybersecurity major, it can also be a time of intense pressure and uncertainty. Sure, you'll be learning stuff like firewalls, cryptography, and network security, which are all essential for a successful career in cybersecurity. But what about the other skills that can make or break your future? Well, that's why I'm here. My name is Day, and I'm a security engineer at Datadog. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the college advice that nobody tells you as a cybersecurity major. First, I'll give you tips on how to make the right college choice from choosing the right school to selecting the best program for your desired learning goals. Then, I will dive into how to approach cybersecurity projects and what makes projects stand out to hire managers and recruiters. Next, I'll cover certifications, which ones are the most important and how to use them to stand out in a crowded cybersecurity job market. And finally, I'll share tips on how to approach internships and how to use them as a means of building a cybersecurity career while you're in college. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite snack and get ready to learn the secrets to success in college and beyond. Whether you're a first year cybersecurity student or you're about to graduate, this video is for you. Quick disclaimer, this video will not cover anything about social interaction, making friends, and all of that stuff. I'm not the best person to talk about that given that I'm an introvert and I only had one semester of traditional college experience with the rest being online. So if you're looking for more advice on that, then I suggest reading the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. You will learn a lot more from that than I could ever tell you. So now let's get into the video. According to the National Center of Education Statistics, as of the 2021 academic year, there were 4,360 degree granting post-secondary institutions in the United States. Try saying that 10 times fast, but that's a lot of choices. What does that mean for the average college student? With so many options, how do you actually decide which one is right for a cybersecurity program? Well, first and foremost, I recently made a video about the top colleges for cybersecurity education in the United States. It's a great starting point to help you make an informed decision. So you can either click the link in the description or the card somewhere on the screen to watch that video. But if that's not for you, here are four keys to choosing the right college for a cybersecurity program. First, research the reputation of the program, the school, and the faculty. Check their accreditation and ask about their track record of success, including job placement rates, student outcomes, and notable alumni. Look for programs that are very well established and respected within the cybersecurity industry. These very viable results show that the school produces job-ready cybersecurity students. Second, consider the curriculum and the resources available to the students. Look for programs that offer hands-on experience with the latest cybersecurity tools and technologies, as well as opportunities for internships, co-ops, and research wherever possible. Also, Check if the program has any specialized tracks or concentrations that align with your interests and career goals as a cybersecurity professional. Third, think about the culture and environment of the school. Look for a school that has a strong sense of community and support for students. Consider factors such as alumni involvement, class size, location, and the availability of resources such as career services and academic advising. Fourth, consider the cost and return on investment. Pursuing a cybersecurity degree can be very costly, so you want to make sure you're getting a good return on your investment and you're looking into financial aid options like scholarships or grants, but be very careful with student loans. I personally cannot recommend them. Consider the average starting salary for graduates of the program and the job market demand for cybersecurity professionals when you're making this decision. By considering these four factors, reputation, curriculum, culture, and cost, you can make an informed decision when you're choosing a cybersecurity program that's right for you. Remember, your choice of school can have a significant impact on your future career prospects. Let me put it in another way. Choosing a college is like buying a car. So you wouldn't just wake up one day, take all of your hard-earned money and drop it in the dealership. You'd first do your research. You want to know if the, the car is gas efficient, durable, how much it depreciates over time and how much it costs to maintain. And also you'd find a reputable dealership and try to get the best bargain for your car. College tuition is unfortunately not a negotiable expense like a car, but take the time to actually do your research and choose a program that will set you up for success. Now, a word from today's sponsor. If you're not living under a rock, 
then you've definitely seen the rapid increase in the use of artificial intelligence for various things both imaginable and unimaginable. The best way to safeguard your career against artificial intelligence is to invest in your human intelligence, and that's where Brilliant.org comes in. Aside from the data science lessons that I've recently been taking via Brilliant, I've also recently been fascinated by learning about neural networks and how they're actually mirrored after the human brain. It's been really eye-opening to understand the science behind artificial intelligence, predictions, and neural networks. And this is one of several lessons Brilliant has to offer. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced math to AI, data science, neural networks, and more with new lessons added monthly. Beyond that, Brilliant storytelling makes even abstract ideas such as neural networks way more relatable and the beautiful interactive visualizations let you really engage with the concepts so you actually understand what you're learning. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash daycyberwalks or click the link in the description and the first 200 of you will get 20% of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and supporting continued learning and growth. One of the best ways to gain hands-on experience is by undertaking a cybersecurity project as a college student. Trust me, I know this from personal experience and from seeing the impact it has had on my colleagues who have done the same. That's why I always recommend the college students take on at least one personal cybersecurity project during their education. But I'm not talking about your typical port scanner. And don't get me wrong, those projects definitely have their place, and I have one myself. But what I'm referring to are innovative and creative projects that can truly set you apart. In a recent video, I talked about how to come up with project ideas, and I'll include a link to the video in the description or somewhere on the screen. I highly recommend checking it out. The beauty of cybersecurity is that there's never a shortage of problems to solve, so you can always find project ideas. You can get ideas from what you're learning in class, from your personal interest, or simply by researching what kind of projects exist out there. One of my favorite sources for project ideas is Cyber Academy by Grant Collins, one of my favorite YouTubers. On Cyber Academy, you'll find projects for beginners, networking, programming, Linux, offensive security, and so much more. If you're not sure where to start, Cyber Academy is definitely a great place to find inspiration for your next cybersecurity project. Trust me, taking on a personal cybersecurity project can make all the difference in your career trajectory. Certifications. Now, this was a bit controversial, but stay with me. As a cybersecurity college student, think of certifications as the icing on the cake. You can definitely eat cake without icing, but it would be weird to eat icing without cake, at least in my opinion. But that's just the way certifications are. Alone, they're kind of just there, but coupled with things like a degree or professional experience, they actually make more sense. So what certifications should you actually be looking at as a cybersecurity college student? Well, these days, I personally recommend practical certifications like the Practical Network Pen Tester or PNPT from T TCM Security, the PJMR, which is the new Practical Junior Malware Researcher, also from TCM Security, of course, the Blue Team Level 1 from Security Blue Team, and the new Certified Cyber Defenders from Cyber Defenders, currently going through that course, or the OSCP if you're looking to be a really competitive candidate. Of course, there's definitely a place for CompTIA certifications, but I only recommend the Network Plus or Security Plus. Anything beyond that, I'll personally invest my money in any of the other certifications. Now, I have been a broke college student before, so I know coughing up $300 or $500 or even a thousand plus dollars for a certification can be daunting, but if you're able to, it could definitely change your life. And with the cloud becoming an important aspect of various organizations, having a foundational or associate certification from any major cloud provider could also bolster your skills and make you a more preferred candidate. So, if you're a college student, think of certifications as the icing on the cake. They can definitely make you stand out in a crowded job market, but you have to make sure that you have the cake to go along with it. Your degree, internship experience, and practical skills are equally as important in the cybersecurity field. As a cybersecurity student, practical experience is essential for a successful career. Whether it's through internships, co-ops, or entry-level jobs, getting relevant real-world experience while in school is very crucial. We've all seen the unrealistic cybersecurity job requirements that demand years of experience and certifications, and it's really frustrating, but unfortunately, it's the norm in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is such a vast field that it requires a diverse set of skills, leading companies to demand a substantial amount of experience 
even for entry-level candidates. But what if you could actually beat the odds? So imagine this, if you could land at least one internship every year from your sophomore year to your senior year, you'd have practical experience and increase your chances of landing a full-time cybersecurity job after college. Now, it's not the three to five years job posters demand, but it's still valuable experience. Personally, I landed my first cybersecurity internship at the end of my freshman year and secured another one for the summer before the end of my sophomore year. So it's very possible to gain practical experience while you're still in college. The key is to actively seek out opportunities, make yourself a desirable candidate, and never stop learning. Your practical experience will make you stand out from other candidates, and it could be the thing that sets you apart from the competition. So go out there and gain practical experience. It's an investment into your future that will undoubtedly pay off in the long run. That's all the advice I've got for you, and I hope you have an amazing cybersecurity college experience. Well, if you like this video, then you should definitely check out this video where I talk about how I spent only $10,000 on my college degree less than three years in college and graduated before turning 21. Or you can watch this video where I changed my major five times in three years. I know, crazy times.